Texas. Two towns separated by the St. Croix River are shocked and saddened tonight after a homicide turns into a high-speed chase with police across state lines. It started late Saturday at a home in Hudson, Wisconsin. Investigators say 49-year-old Charlene Wold was stabbed to death in her home. The suspect was her son, 28-year-old Logan Reese. WCCO's Jeff Wagner is here now, and Jeff, that homicide was just the beginning for police that night. Yeah, what followed involved the suspect's apartment catching on fire. Minutes later, he's being chased down state highways. At the same time, investigators say he was shooting at him that then before eventually turning the gun on himself. The story is hard to comprehend, but what's more difficult for many is that Wold is gone. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. There's certain places you go as a community, and this is one of them. If anyone's qualified to say that, it's Lakeland Mayor Richard Glasgow. Everybody I know brings their dog down here. As the dog owner gushed about Spot's professional pet grooming, specifically its owner, Charlene Wold. You know, certain people, when you talk to them, they just have a bubbling, full of life personality, and that's what she had. And sadly, that's how he'll now have to remember her. I heard the police scanner go off last night. Late Saturday, deputies were called to this home across the river in Hudson after a violent stabbing left Wold dead. Her son, Logan Reese, was the suspect. Investigators went to his apartment and found it on fire. One of his neighbors is a volunteer firefighter. The initial page that went out indicated that there was an armed suspect, but I couldn't leave my house because I didn't know if he was in my garage since we're right next to it or anything. Reese was gone. But investigators later spotted his car on Highway 12. They say he shot at them as he sped across three counties before crashing into a median along Highway 8 in Chisago County. Investigators say the 28-year-old shot himself. There's no assurances in life. Reminders of that were outside Wold's business. Flowers, cards, personal messages expressing grief over her loss, something two towns are struggling to bear. It, this touches our community. You know, this is, this is home. This is what it means to be a community. Wold's daughter released a statement on the Facebook page for her mom's business, and it said in part, Charlene loved dogs, grooming, and her customers and her spirit will be passed on by all. Thank you, everyone, for your prayers. All right. Thank you, Jeff.